Meatballs. Good morning. Good morning, Annie B. Dot Epic. Hi, one John. Curriton. I can never pronounce that. And howdy. It's early. Uh, stay up and win. Hopefully, hopefully. Um, I'm having a slant today, aren't I? Slightly. Just, just a... There we go. More straight, straighter now. Hello, Jamesy Wainsy. And it's Thursday. Yesterday it felt like Thursday, but today it is Thursday, which is good. Uh, do you like my game show yesterday? I did enjoy my game show yesterday, Taiwan Jan. I enjoyed the jokes. I enjoyed the questions. I enjoyed all of it. It was very good. And it was very fun. I've actually got a full recording of it on my uh, computer, on my phone, which I think we're going to post on our socials as well. So it was fun. Um, but yeah, no, we had a good time playing it, um, which is cool. Yeah, like 40 years as well, which is good. It's good for like a first show as well. Um, good morning, bunnies. Bunnies, good name for a question today. That is all I'm going to say. That is all I'm going to say. Um, yeah, it's... I've got to now do this, and then I have to walk into our new office space. And I have to carry like a massive monitor and bag of stuff which i've got to walk for about half about a mile about two miles with so that's gonna be fun this morning i should get an uber maybe i don't know if i want to anyway commuting issues aside um that's it finally made it that's it morning win uh what are the categories we have history Hundred and eight people ready to win this morning. Who will win today? I'm excited to see. There are some more Tim questions. So um that's it, it's gonna be it. Why I normally host Wake Up and Win? Because I am the one that wakes up at the right time to do it as well. Which is why. And I don't host the three PMs either. So uh I just miss them. All right, five minutes past. Let's kick off with the morning. Uh, good morning. My name is Tim. This is Moi Cup and Win, our daily morning more trivia show, week daily. And uh, it's very easy. It's five questions. The quicker you answer, the more points you get. And the more points you get, the higher you get up our leaderboard, which today isn't too important, but you need to get over 30,000 points in order to claim a split of our £25 pot and if you do that your money will go into your little pot in the app and when you get over £5 we'll pay you on the following Monday after it which you can win which is very very good 
Um, and that's it. That's it. It's easy. Um, listen to me as well as read the questions. Don't just read because we don't have all the text in the questions because um, it makes them slightly more difficult for our non-human friends to play. But let's go with our first question. Um, hopefully an easy one to start with. Yesterday I did like two absolutely brutal questions and the later ones seem to be easier. But I don't know, I don't know how it will be today, we'll see. Um, okay. This little rabbit, this little rabbit, he is a famous rabbit as he is in the major Disney picture of Bambi. But my question is, what is the name of this animal in Bambi? Is it Flower, Thumper, or Mrs. Rabbit? All names of animals in Bambi, I should say. No, 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 no. Jeff Keys, 1971. Is that when it came out? Oh, 9971. I misread the first. 10K. Okay. I'm feeling confident with this question. Uh, it is, of course, Thumper. Thumper is the rabbit in the picture. Uh, best character in the film. I agree. 88 of you getting that right. Well done. Uh, 12 for Flower. Uh, 27 for Mrs. Rabbit. Thumper is a fun rabbit. And did you also know that Thumper was used on the American? B-29 Super Fortress planes uh, and he was putting an image of him on their bombs because the way he like bangs his foot is the same. There you go. Fun thumper fact. Um, right. Question. The city where I live, where Charlie lives, is full of Bambis. Bambiheimer. That should be it. I finally answered. There we go. Right. First question. Okay. Question number two. We are talking about heat and temperature. The question is about heat and temperature. Forget everything you know about everything else but heat and temperature. Okay. So my question to you is, what, what has the highest heat and temperature? Is it Mercury, Venus, or the Burj Khalifa? Now, I can tell you that one of these is significantly hotter than the other two. Fudge, says Adam A. Dan. That's at three, not now. Um, ooh, but I can reveal. Interestingly enough, even though Mercury is the closest planet to the sun, Venus is in fact the hottest planet in the solar system, which 39 of you got. 69 went for Mercury, if I think the logical answer, but no. The um, Venus actually has a greenhouse effect similar to global warming now. And because of that, it is the hottest planet in the solar system with a surface of approximately 465 degrees Celsius. Madam. Uh, I got zero points for Thumper. We'll see, we'll see. Right, let's look at the leaderboards. How are we doing? I put Burge like an idiot. <laughs> Misread the queue. Oh, sorry. Jeff Keys in first place, followed by uh, Quizmonster, Charlotte Leeds, Apricots, Caroline, Flipchild, SJP, Hyde, I5, Jeffy, and MTR102370. There we go. Right. We're done with our first two questions. They might get slightly harder now, um, but we'll see. I think they are slightly hard, actually. Um, but let's go. Got fooled on that one before. Good. Yeah, I, I wouldn't have thought it was Venus. Um, but here we are. Right. eBay. The original, the original, one of the original eBay logos. Not the new modern one. Um, we need the old logo. Um, but my question is... The founder of eBay was born in which country? Is it Spain, France, or Italy? Now, this does require you to know who the founder of eBay is. And if you know who he is, it's probably quite easy to guess, I would say. Um, but if you don't know, then you won't know this. Uh, Jeff Keys, correct. Pierre is the founder of eBay. And um, Pierre is, uh, not his original name, but birth, in fact. But is in fact uh, a French name. Uh, but Pierre was born in France. 55, you got right. Well done. 20 for Spain and 38 for Italy. Uh, France kicking out a few big startups as well. Be real, be real is a French startup as well. Uh, eBay. But even though well, it's not, he's not really French. Well, he is French, but he moved to the Bay Area, so don't know if it counts. Don't know if it counts. But well done for people getting that. Pierre. Uh, some facts about Pierre. He's in fact the. Uh, 45th richest person in the world 
with an estimated net worth of $8.7 billion. There we go. Right. Now, we're going to stick on... Um, we're going to stick on founders because I quite liked founder questions as I was looking today. Um, and I also have my second passion, which is fast food. So my question is, which of these was founded first? Was it Pizza Hut, KFC, or McDonald's? France? France. Um, or not the Bay Area in France, if that was you're asking. Um, yeah, interesting one. Weirdly enough, they were found all around pretty a pretty similar time. But uh, KFC was in fact the first to be found, which 25 you got right, 33 from McDonald's, 40, sorry, 33 from pizza, 40 from McDonald's. Yeah, KF Savage one there. KFC is the original fast food. KFC is king. Um, but yeah, McDonald's was founded in 1955. Um, pizza Hut was 1958 and KFC was 1952. Three years before McDonald's was alive. And did you know that the KFC first arrived um, in the UK in 1965, which predated the arrival of McDonald's and Burger King by nine years? So they've always been first, KFC, always been first. I was watching an interesting video about KFC in the US and Europe, and apparently KFC in the US isn't as good as Europe. Or it's like not as good anymore. But KFC in, in Europe, in England, I'd say it's still quite good. Well, good, good maybe. I like it. Um, let's look at the leaderboards. We're going to our last question. <gasps> Jeff Keys, still in first place, followed by Indica, Quiz Monster, Gina, Dr. Steve Real, Tim Dozer, The Amazing Puzzle, Eileen Moulton, High Five, and Apricots. The last question, shake at the leaderboard, but Jeff Keys, staying at the top, staying right at the top. Um, and this last question, only two people though, would split the pot. That's like Jeff and Indica could be taking home £12.50 each if no one gets this right. Well, I've definitely rebalanced my questions a bit. Um, we still got two hard ones, but the last one, hopefully, isn't too hard. Um, but it is about something completely different. Uh, it's not about rabbits, it's not about fast foods, but it is about the history of World War One. World War One. If you know World War One, you might say that we are taught about World War One in school uh, from a very young age. But my question is, if you remember this, in which year did the United States join World War One? Was it 1914, 15, or 17? I'll give you a hint. The war was between 14 and 18. So it's definitely one of these years. Um, and they didn't join right at the beginning. Miss Click 2. Oof. So the US, uh, in fact, on April 4th, 1917, the US Senate voted to support declare war on Germany and in December they also uh, declared war on the Allies Austria-Hungary on December 7th so it was 1917 my third favorite year it was or in this case my first favorite year let's look at the answers how many people got that right 61 people got that right well let's see we have our war people in uh 1914 1915 um we should just stick with topics people learn at school right what has that done to the total this is going to be a tight split of the pot i think um let's look at the leaderboards how are we doing it is jeff keys indica quiz monster eileen ct apricots the amazing puzzle we like shapes gina dr steve brule jeff mtr sjp james bond one way high five hey body and that's it lockdown lovers we got 17 people there a lot of people saved by that last question well done to everyone who got it through. Um, yeah.
this one. Uh... Yes, yeah, so this is what I'm seeing, but I do agree, it does say that. Yeah, it's like 15. So what's this source? Where's it pulling this from? If I click that. Ray Crops first McDonald's. Why is it? Okay, the McDonald's official website. Oh. He joined the World War One, ended blah blah blah. In thirty nine, he became multi mixer. So is mo is modern McDonald's opened by this croc guy, and not like the old one? Is that what they're saying? Yeah. So the first McDonald's restaurant technically is yeah nineteen forties, but it seems like Ray Croc, which is like. The modern, the franchise of the latest, what was 1954. And he opened his first in 55. Interesting one though, isn't it? Um, so technically, the modern one was discovered, was founded in 55. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's, that is just confusing, isn't it? Uh, give us back 30k. I could reduce it to 20k, can I? How many words that mean? I think that's maybe valid. I mean, technically the question's not wrong, but also it's not clear, is it? Okay. All right. All right. Let's, uh, I can see that. Let me look at what, what we've got. How many winners have we got? I still lose this top. Uh, so if you wrote it down to 20, how many winners is that? Uh, 49 winners. All right, we'll do 49 winners. 49 winners, there you go. We'll lower the threshold to 20. Um, sorry about that to the winners. Just had their winnings taken away. Um, that was my 10K. There you go. Well, technically, technically, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. But you still came first, so that is the achievement. Um, uh, there you go. Well, that cuts me off. You're not in still. It was a 20. There we go. Well, well done to the top 40 people getting that right. I mean, yeah, it's a difficult one. It's a difficult one, wasn't it? But uh, I'll take it. I'll take it. Right. I will now paste these into a, a document and uh, throw it. I'm sorry, all. Sorry, winners. It's my fault. I owe you money. I owe you like pounds. Um, there we go. Right. Well, thank you, everyone, for playing. Um, I hope you. Uh, well, Grizzo, I can see your 50th. Um, yeah, that's fine. Thank you, everybody. My prize money not sent my email. Why? We don't send emails, actually. Um, we just need to verify your email so we can give you paper. Pop-ups. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go through the pop-ups again. Uh, but you will. Don't worry. It's it's secured. It's secured. You'll get it. Um, you just gonna have to click through it all, and I have to. I have to run away now and go to our office. But well done to everyone who won. Unfortunately. Uh, if anyone does ask you, the McDonald's franchise was founded in 1945, but the first McDonald's restaurant was before then. There we go. That's our fun fact of the day. I'm now gonna gonna go question um, everything about um, I know about McDonald's and their history. We'll come back to you. Um, I still lost the game because I chose Pizza Hut. We can do Pizza Hut. Does seem old, doesn't it? Does seem old. Uh, thank you all. Enjoy the rest of your day. And goodbye.